Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, uh, uh, thank you very much, Vin, for the introduction. Uh, I slightly revised the ti uh, title as uh, Cyber Physical Social Big Data. Uh, uh, my name is Lawrence Yang. I come from uh, Huazhong University of Technology and also St. Francis C Xavier University in Canada. So uh, my talk, uh, the outline is like this. First of all, I would like to introduce, uh, introduce you a new term I call the hybrid world. And then I will talk about uh, what is the big data and uh, uh, what is the issue, uh, what's the data erased from the hybrid world. Then I will talk about briefly the idea how we're going to solve them using a new technique called the tensor. And then I'm going to show you some case studies and then we draw the conclusions. So first of all, uh, so because of the computing, communication, and uh, technology advance, so we are actually creating a new world. It's different than our physical world. We call the cyber world. At this world, so you will see that people can jump either to our real world here. So we have a lot of our usual activities, like school, having breakfast, and so on. This is real activity. But at the same time, we can jump into the cyber world. So we can do a lot of what we call e-activity. And then, for example, uh, you take online courses, you make friends, and you, you do the online auctions. Then accordingly, you're going to have money, e-money. And uh, so a lot of e-things also uh, generate too. So you can jump either word uh, differently. And uh, for some of you are not familiar with uh, ubiquitous computing, so I want to introduce, this is uh, uh, the most uh, well-known person called Mark Wither. And in 1988, he coined the term called ubiquitous computing. And uh, ubiquitous, this term means everywhere. And uh, in his well-known uh, article, published in 1991 uh, in Scientific America. The article name is called the, the Computer for 21st Century. He uh, proposed his vision, say that the computer became so much of our daily life that we don't take notice of them any longer. Uh, unfortunately, you can see that he died in 1999, so it's only 47 years old. Uh, the year after he died, in uh, same year, 1999. So IBM started to promote an uh, industry vision. Uh, they call the uh, pervasive computing. Uh, for short name, we call Percom and so on. And uh, two years later also, in 2001, so European Union also 